brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. All right, so it is the holiday season. It's a time where you're going to be spending time with friends and family, having a great time. And some people are going to be including alcohol in this great occasion, but you have to be sure that you don't drink and drive. In December of 2012, there were about 1,700 people that died in car accidents. And a third of that, about 31% of people who were in these accidents and died, they were due to drunk driving. So you have to make sure that you just drive responsibly. If you're going to be going somewhere, we're drinking make sure you have a designated driver or call a cab call uber call somebody that can take you home it's a lot easier you just want to take the risk of seriously hurting somebody or just getting pulled over and then having your license taken away from you and just having a whole bunch of other problems in your life you just want to make sure that you keep yourself safe and all these other people who have families and people that care about them you want to keep them safe too so just don't drink and drive Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here, wrapping up my videos here for 2014 with a video over probably the most talked about phone, especially in the early part of this year, and this is the HTC One. Now, I was gonna do a video talking about my favorite phones of 2014, but ultimately I was gonna narrow it down between the Galaxy Note 4 and the HTC One M8. Now, I was gonna go with the HTC One M8 as my favorite phone because design-wise and also just overall size-wise, I think most people are fine with it where the Note 4 can still be a little too big for some people. I'm not gonna do a that's what she said joke on that one. Um, but I think the HTC One with the boom sound speakers and also the software, they really did some really great things with the software. Uh, it was a very unique phone that I think overall would please a lot of people out there and that's why i was going to choose it as my phone of 2014 but now we also have some rumors on the next acc one possibly named the m9 now, there's been a picture floating around supposedly showing what this hcc1 m9 would look like now i'm not totally sold on how accurate this picture would be because that widget doesn't look like anything hcc would do um, and also too i don't see the boom sound speakers on the top and the bottom of the display but who knows we'll see what this m9 looks soon enough but i honestly have to say that if hcc just really carried over the design that they used for the m8 and moved it over to the m9 and kind of gave it just a, a slightly different look and feel to it don't really change the way it feels all together I will be totally satisfied now the one caveat is that if they do make this phone with a bigger display the entire phone is going to get bigger and so they have to be careful because the M8 when I first used it was a little bit slippery but after using the iPhone 6 plus I would tell you that the HTC one M8 feels like sandpaper uh, but but the 6 plus is bigger than the M8 so HTC has to be a little bit careful with increasing the size and also not giving you any texture to hold on to and so with that being said HTC could elect to keep the new display at five inches just like it was with the ma or they could bump it up to a 5.5 inch display and possibly make it a 2k display to help rival its competition now a number of websites have also uncovered some benchmarks that are being done on the web and supposedly this new hcc one m9 will be a beast it could possibly have a 2840 milliamp battery also run android 5.0.1 lollipop and have three gigabytes of ram but my favorite part is that the rear facing camera could be bumped up to around 20 megapixels which would be awesome and so if all this is true the HTC One M9's front facing camera would be considerably better than the rear facing camera on the HTC One M8 that just came out about a year ago so that's definitely something that HTC is focusing on to try to give us no excuse to hate on this phone for any reason but it looks like if they can really nail this camera down and make it one of the best out there they're going to have a winner on their hands so when can we see and also buy this new M9 well nothing is set in stone yet of course but we could see this phone be unveiled as early as ces in january or it, they could wait and wait until the mobile world conference that comes up in the spring and also i think the phone no matter what will be released in the early spring time frame so hc could be that first manufacturer in 2015 to deliver that big phone that phone that's really going to make a splash on the market and they can keep the design going with this m9 also improve the cameras uh, improve the display but also just make the little tweaks to the software i mean they're going to have a phone that undoubtedly would be a great phone that a lot of people will want to get but again we'll have to wait to see what HTC ultimately does with this new phone hopefully hopefully we will know very soon so anyway guys this has been my video here talking about the new M9 leave a comment down below what you think about this phone what all do you want to see in it what do you want from this phone and how do you think it'll stack up against the rest of the phones coming out in 2015 and thanks for watching this video guys and I will catch you later peace